Good morning. This is Joe Nicasio, your business coach. And today I wanted to talk to you about restoring humanity into your business. I think it's a huge mistake. Um, you know, too many people are just, when you talk to them, they just, all they care about is, is the money. They just care, you know, they just, they don't even treat you like a human being. In other words, they don't connect with you at a human level, they connect with you at a business level, and it's a huge mistake. You know, whoever you're selling to is a, a, either a man or a woman or a child and almost probably a son or a daughter or a, of someone. They're a mother or a father or a lover. You know, humans have hopes. They have dreams. They have aspirations. They have stuff they're going through. You know, they have problems and challenges and whatever they're going through is way bigger than whatever it is that you are selling. You know, people have experiences in life. They have things that they value. Um, and their definition of phrases that you use in your communication is not anywhere close to the same as yours. You know, they speak a language of their life and you come along and speak your language, your business link. So you have to sincerely examine, examine, explore, and evaluate, you know, what it's like to be in their shoes. One of the greatest things you can do to restore humanity in your business is to have empathy and truly understand what it's like on the other side. Understand them, appreciate them, respect them, acknowledge them for, you know, what they are, who they are, what they're going through. Um, yeah, nice, nice comment, Melanie. Human connection is how we reach people. It's not through the sales pitch. A lot of people use buzzwords and feel like they know what people want, uh, um, but they don't. You know, you don't have to, you have to, you know, spend time and interact with people and observe people you want to serve. Like, you know, really ask, like, what's going on with you? Instead of just jumping in and saying, this is what I'm up to, it's like, what big things are you up to? This genuine curiosity of what's going on in another human's life creates a tremendous amount of humanity uh, uh, to, to connect you at a higher level with people. And when people see that you're there, you know, at a, at a human level, they're more likely to connect with you at a, at a, at a business level as well. You have to realize there's this this holistic side of people. People are more multidimensional than we often give them credit for. There's a tendency where everybody's selling something to somebody who thinks their job is to share data and knowledge and communicate about something. Yet you're interacting with a human being. If you look at all the other things they're involved in, whether it's in their business or life, you make it a point to contribute rich, meaningful content, you know, contribute, give, share, serve, contribute, meaningful, you know, connection. When you do that, you will restore more humanity into your business and into their life. It's very different when you, when you do this, when you actually connect with people at this human level. And it, you know, that this taking the time to do this may have very little, nothing to do with your product or service, and it has everything to do with your brand connection. And again, it's about your human connection. You know, we need to step away from being all about having this business, business, business agenda, and start having a human agenda, having more human connection, having more humanity. Uh, understanding the diverse value and nature of other people. It's, it's about having a worldview that's inclusive. Um, you know, we live in a society that is so overwhelmed. We live in a business world that, you know, we live in this business world where people send us all this predictable stuff. Businesses make all these, you know, these shiny offers and, and we got to give them your information before, you know, you even get to see what they're promising to deliver and you have no idea what you're getting or even if it's relevant. I respect and I think we all need to respect the value and intelligence of human beings. 
every person you meet has some magic. Every person you have has skills and talents and abilities and things that they have dreams and aspirations. When you look at any like group of people in the market that you're approaching um, on behalf of yourself or the clients that you represent, you know, you know, we don't, I don't sell to companies. I sell to people at companies. I sell to people. I you know, work with people. And collectively, businesses, men and women, you know, these businesses, these are collections of men and women that are struggling. Maybe they're hopeful. Maybe they're confused. Maybe they're untrusting. Maybe they're overwhelmed. Maybe they're stretched out. Maybe they're dizzy from all the clutter and the noise and the maddening solicitations. And our job is to break through. To not be another commercial, but to actually show up with some hum humanity, with some connection, with some caring, and to actually make a difference in people's lives. You gotta ask yourself, how am I gonna gain their trust? How am I gonna get their interest? How will I get them to give me a pre you know a precious minute or two or three to break away from their fuzzy vision? How am I going to get them to break away uh, from their quicksand and their sinking ship and their burning fires? How will I get them to want more? People often focus on tactical stuff like what tactic should I use next? Which technique should I use uh, next? And then, you know, we teach others to use the same tactics and we promise the same kind of outcomes. And you, know, you end up getting the same people doing the same tactics from millions of different business people. Everybody's doing the same old stuff. If you, if you take this into consideration, you know, the majority of emails and, and solicitations we get are almost the same. It's almost insulting and saddening. If we do the same thing as everyone else, guess what, we're going to get the same result. And don't be surprised when you don't get the outcome that you want. There's a huge payoff you can get when you do more, you care more, you contribute more, and you refuse to be the same as every other mechanical machine uh, sales and marketing person out there. There is a chance for you to exercise your humanity. There's a chance for you to restore humanity to business. You know, I taught this to a real estate office not too long ago to connect. It was the first thing I taught them was connect at a human level before you connect at a business level. Uh, I taught this to some people in the financial services industry also. Guess what? They had profound results because you know what? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And when you care about people as a human being and really connect with them and really have some empathy and really understand what's going on with them, You'll get profound breakthrough in your sales. You'll get profound breakthrough in uh, the results you get with people. I promise you, restore humanity. Quit, throw, set your business agenda aside for a minute and start having a human agenda. When you really care about people, when you really connect with them, when you ask good questions, when you listen, when you truly get to know what's going on in their situation, and you bring that humanity, you're going to stand out from the crowd of everyone else that's just trying to get a sale. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible about it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get through the gates of heaven. Like, what's that all about? Well, you know, basically, Jesus said, you know, we have two things. We need to love our fellow man. We need to love God. We need to love our fellow man. Why is it hard for the rich man to get through the gates of heaven? he doesn't love people he loves money he loves his property he loves his riches and he doesn't really care about human beings it's hard for us to set aside the riches um, and actually see the human but this is you know it's a christian concept to love people you know and use we we love people and use money not the other way around when you love money and use people that's actually pretty dark and evil Let's restore humanity into our business. Let's actually care about the people that we're working with. Let's, let's show up in such a way that we know that we're going to make a difference in their life. Let's, let's have that genuine curiosity to get to know people. And let's stop operating like a machine 
and instead be that compassionate, loving human being that cares around other people. And I promise you, you will sleep good at night, you'll turn your business around, and you'll make a big impact on a lot of people's lives. This is Joe Nicasio, your business coach. God bless you. Make it a great day.